About two years ago, I downloaded Krita and I bought my first drawing tablet with these gloves. Very excited to start learning how to draw, dream of becoming the best artist. But after a while, I realized that there are so many shortcut keys that allow me to shorten the time and make illustrations much faster. So I'm going to show you all the shortcut keys I have been using. I split it into three parts. So the first part will be the ones on my tablet. The second part will be the ones I customized myself. Finally, will be the ones on the keyboard by default. So first, in terms of the keys on my tablet, first one is very simple. It's just see, undo. It's very simple. Good. The second one will be moving it. So when I press it, it just moves around it here. The third one is zooming in and out. And the fourth one will be rotating it. Very simple. The fifth one, this one, is a T key. So if I press it, I can move things around. I just move it around. And then if I want to go back to brush, just press B. It'll be. But I'll mention it later. And finally, it'll be this one, which is just a safe key over here. So in terms of the ones I customized myself, there are three of them. So the first one will be the key right next to your M key. That's if you look at the right side, you'll see that there's a new group being made if I press it. And then the next one is just adding another paint layer below it. That's that key. Press Ctrl Z or to undo it. Good. C for selection tool. I press it to move it around. Some shortcut keys for selection tool. I mentioned it in the other video. Just briefly mention it again. So if you press Ctrl X, um, first of all, we're, we're being selected. You can only paint inside. Press Ctrl X, allows you to remove things inside. Ctrl Z, undo it. Ctrl Shift A, then it deselects it. And if we select it again, Ctrl Z, and then Ctrl Shift I, then it allows you to invert the selection. In terms of the place you customize it, setting, configure, Krita, and then, here you go, add group layer, add paint layer, and freehand selection tool. So finally, are the ones on keyboard. So first one will be Control shift f so press it. It will widen your Krita window, so you have more space to work on. Um, Control shift s allows you to save a new file if you want. JPG, just press over here, press JPG. And then in terms of Control G over here, if you look at the right again, if I shift, press shift, and then select, it will have, you'll be able to multi-select different things. And if I select this, Control G, then it will place the selected layers into a group layer. Um, if you want to merge the group, you can press the group and then press Ctrl E. Then it will merge the group. Ctrl Z to undo it. Or if you want, you can just press the the layer and then press Ctrl E. Then it will merge that layer with the layer below. Instead of going to here, press right key and then go here. It's just too much hassle. Now Ctrl J is just duplicating layer, so it allows you to sort of like back up certain groups or layers. So for example, if we finish the line art. Then we want a backup of it, then you can just control J of the whole group to save it. Control U to change color is so if I open a new layer, draw something like this. Control U, then it will allow me to change color. So like that. Or here like this. So let's say I have this color. Control U. Then it will change the color change the saturation or change the brightness. This one, Ctrl N, it just asks you to open a new 
canvas. The control O allows you to open the other files that you have. So if you press shift and then go this way, so this way it will get bigger. If you go that way, press shift, it will get smaller. It just allows you to change the brush size faster. And finally, in terms of these parts, so if you press number four, it just rotates this way. Press five, it comes back. Press six, it turns the other way. Press five, it comes back. In terms of I and O, I will reduce the, the opacity. O will increase the opacity. Allows you to blend things more easily. Um, in terms of the bracket keys, so this bracket, on the left bracket key will smaller the size of the brush on the right it will make it bigger it's another way to adjust your brush size in terms of B it's just switching back to brush mode so let's say if we're using selection tool and then select certain things we have finished the adjustments then we want to go back to the brush mode first pressing ctrl shift A to deselect it Press B to go back to brush, okay? Well, let's say that we just finished this drawing and then we want to move it around. Move it around, very good. We want to go back to brush and press B again to come back to brush. Finally, this is the most powerful shortcut key by default. Very important. So pressing R allows you to find the layers that you are finding. This is very handy if we're trying to find a layer in hundreds of millions of them on the right side. For example, if we have a line art or we start starting to color it, using R is very easy to find it or do some adjustments. So now I'm going to show you the keys on my Huion app. Uh, so Control Z for the first one, space, Control space, shift space, and then Control T, um, Control S. I don't really use these two keys, but I just put O and I. Make sure you enable the press key, and there's a lock key over here in Huion tablet. So make sure you unlock it, and you can use the press key afterwards. I have a Word document on all the shortcut keys I've been using. Link in the description below. Just download it for free. Sorry, there's a final shortcut keys that I use very often. It's the it's the top key on my pen. So it's the it's the mouse right button and it allows you me allows me to choose colors or go to different you know go to different tags to choose what pen I want. But yeah, that's all the shortcut keys I use. Thank you for watching and hopefully it saves your time massively. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!